Hey guys, welcome back to the channel here. Um, what we have today is a three minute quick fix tip. So what we're gonna do is we're going to recharge the refrigerant on a 2007 Honda Pilot. This is very similar and very universal on most cars. So what we'll do is we'll just dive into what it takes to get this done. Most any of your Walmarts or automotive surplus stores are going to have something like this. It's going to be a Freon kit, refrigerant kit, your R134A. So this one's actually already empty. I used this last year, but I just kept it. So I'm just gonna take the lid off. And I went back to Walmart again, and I got another canister of this. This is just a 12 ounce can of the same thing, but it's got the same thread adapter size. I'm gonna screw it right on. All right, so quick explanation. Just about every car is gonna have a high and a low on the Honda Pilot. The high is the H down here on this blue cap, right down in here. And then right up on top, we're gonna have L for low pressure and that's where we're gonna hook into. We're gonna take this cap off and we're just gonna grab our tank here, set it. We got a quick connect here on this particular hose and we're gonna connect it just like that. And we're actually gonna see that it's very low. So this car leaks out about every year. Um, over the winter time, it seems to leak out to where the compressor will not engage by the time summer rolls around again and instead of spending hundreds of dollars and doing leak down checks and all that, I don't know how much longer I'll have this thing. It's kind of a beater. My thought is just put a $10 canister on there once a year and call it good. So once the car's running and we have the AC and everything on maximum cold, um, it's really good to shake this up or shake it up before you even put it on here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the trigger and that's gonna let this gas flow into there and we're gonna rock it back and forth from 12 to three o'clock and just sit here and shake this for several minutes. Might take five minutes, might take longer. We're gonna watch this gauge and watch as it slowly climbs up. It's hard to see right there, but that's the 30 next to the F there on field. And then there's the 40 right above that E. So somewhere in that range is about perfect. Start the car. We're gonna pop the hood. And then what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna turn this on AC, You're gonna go AC, whatever we can do to go to the coldest setting. So max AC, coldest there, fan all the way on. And we're gonna go out and see if the compressor's kicking on. It's hard to see, but the compressor's down in here, but you can hear it is not working. So we're just gonna start filling this up. You hear the compressor kick on there pretty quick. Do that and let off pressure. You can watch right there, we're already filled up high. Used about three quarters of the can. Our compressor's kicking on, you can hear it humming. Watch this gauge for a few minutes and see where this stabilizes at. Maybe do it one more time. Okay, then you just disconnect. Put your cap back on there and if that fixes it, you're good to go. If it ends up going out again by the end of the summer, you might have a bigger leak than you think. And you might wanna start looking into troubleshooting and figure out where that leak's coming from. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel grow. And we'll see you guys next time.